The last five steps of glycolysis convert the two three-carbon sugars produced from a six-carbon molecule of glucose to two molecules of pyruvate. These reactions are exergonic. They produce energy storing molecules, two electron carriers, NADH, and four ATPs. The three carbon sugars which begin these reactions are glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, G3P, and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, DAP. The molecule of G3P is ready as is for the reactions that follow, but DAP must first be converted to its isomer, G3P, by triose phosphate isomerase. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase oxidizes and phosphorylates G3P, producing 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, or BPG, and the electron carrier NADH. Phosphoglycerate kinase then catalyzes the removal of phosphate as ATP, making 3-phosphoglycerate, 3PG. Phosphoglycerate mutase transfers 3PG's phosphate from the 3-carbon to the 2-carbon, making its isomer 2-phosphoglycerate, 2PG. Enolase then removes a water molecule to make phosphoenolpyruvate, PEP. Finally, pyruvate kinase removes the last phosphate to make pyruvate plus ATP. These exergonic reactions produce two pyruvates and four ATPs, but two ATPs were used in the endergonic reactions that split the glucose in two. So, in glycolysis, there is a net gain of two ATPs which are available for cellular processes. The two NADH molecules will be taken up by the electron transport chain, where they will make additional ATPs via oxidative phosphorylation.